After making my Resident Evil 4 video recently, I realized that I had never made a proper guide on how to install texture packs for Dolphin. It's relatively simple, but easy to mess up if you don't know what you're doing. The least challenging part is finding texture packs. Google will serve you well, and there is a forum where most texture packs are located. However, be aware that some are available in two formats. For example, with Mario Kart Double Dash, you can see there's PNG and DDS formats. As far as I understand, DDS is better for performance and should be your preferred choice. Installing texture packs takes a few steps, but it's not difficult to follow. Go into the Dolphin folder and create a text file called portable.txt. You only have to do this once. This switches Dolphin into portable mode, which is what we want. Now run the emulator to transfer the user files inside its main folder. Now we will extract the texture pack into the relevant folder. Take note of what I do. Both GameCube and Wii texture packs go into this folder. This is the correct folder because the name matches up with the one in the game's properties. Let me show you. Once that is done, we can just enable texture packs inside Dolphin itself. Go to Graphics and then the Advanced tab. From there, click on Load Textures if it's not activated. This particular texture pack for Resident Evil 4 doesn't work when Prefetch is activated. And it happens with Ocarina of Time as well but I found that it can be turned on with about 90% of texture packs. Don't be afraid to experiment though. You can configure the emulator while games are running, so it's easy to see how changing settings affect graphics. Anyway, if you found this useful, please remember to give a like. It really helps with the algorithm. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.